Days Gone was another open world zombie game that released back in 2019 where you play as a biker named Deacon as he searches for his missing wife along with your best bud Booze Cruiser and Vanilla Ice as you relentlessly beat the shit out of zombie kids and build fertilizer bombs. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan. And even though I thoroughly enjoyed this game, killing zombies, doing side missions, clearing out camps, playing with my hog, riding my hog, blowing my hog. This game was rough at launch and had bugs that were on par with cyberpunk. Marvel at this stellar gameplay as I raid a French outpost that stands completely still, staring at me like a deer in headlights as I kill all of them. Experience the horrors of the ghost gun that CNN warned you about. I hope you like magic tricks because get ready for the classic disappearing act. I shit you not, one time this game glitched and not only instantly killed me, but loaded me into a different fucking mission. Now don't get me wrong, even though some of these glitches make you really want to yeet yourself into a pit of the mortally challenged people, I had a blast playing through this game through and through. All the side missions feel super rewarding and are fun to play. The gameplay loop was solid, with all the side missions really being different from one another, and tons of different ways to play and change things up with your equipment. The controls are just super tight as well, I even found a way to kill large crowds of enemies with just melee weapons alone. Overall, it's just plain fun, even if the story can be pretty predictable to say the least. See, like, I want to like Schizo, but at the same time he seems very shady and I do not trust him at all. Who is Schizo? Yeah, I'm waiting for him to, like, shoot me in the back of the head or some shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you fucking serious? The game is major jank, but it's fun jank. And honestly though, this does cross into unplayable territory, which is the only issue. But there were times I had to restart the game just because of some of these bugs. And ultimately, this is why this game will never get a sequel, Garvin. Not because of PlayStation Plus, store discounts, or God of War. Because even after multiple delays, you still released a game with game-breaking glitches. I can't tell you how many times I've seen gamers say, yeah, I got that on sale. But how do you know PS you Plus love a game that. until you've played it? I'm just saying you don't, but don't complain if a game doesn't get a sequel if it wasn't supported at launch. If you love a game, buy it at fucking full price. If you love a game, buy it at fucking full price. If you love a game, buy it at fucking full price. If you love a game, Buy it at fucking full price. If you love a game, buy it at fucking full price. If you love a game, buy it at fucking full price. Don't complain if a game doesn't get a sequel if it wasn't supported at launch. It's like God of War got, you know, whatever number of millions of sales at launch and, you know, Days Gone didn't. So it's like, right. for whatever reason, it's like, it, you know, for, for just speak. And you know, honestly, this review left a really bad taste in my mouth. And I think if the game ever does get a sequel, I don't think it should be supported at all. I think this guy ha really has some balls to not only delay a game multiple times, then also release it broken with missing content, like the horde mode for example, have and all other things that were supposed to be included in the game at launch, only to be released in updates afterwards. This is not the fault of the consumer in the slightest. This is if anything the fault of developers that think they can release and rush games completely broken and then oh don't worry we'll just fix it once it's launched and we've already made our money no that's really not how it works this is not how games used to be and if i don't know man call me a fucking boomer if you want to but i remember a time when you could actually put out a game it was solid at launch there wasn't a need for dlc there wasn't a need for updates the game was always put out in its best condition or if it wasn't its worst condition which rarely happened because guess what there were no updates. You could not update a game. If it was bad at launch, it was a bad game and was most likely to flop. And this is the kind, this is the kind of treatment these developers deserve, honestly. I think more people should have pirated Days Gone. I feel like a chump for have spent the $60 on it, to be quite honest, after seeing this interview. And even though I still think this was a beautiful game, and even with all the jank aside, it was really friggin' a fun time. I think just this bitterness and pure blame on the consumer is all the more reason to not support this studio in any further endeavors they want to pursue. If you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe, check out the other videos on my channel, I do a lot of similar stuff like this, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good one.